Hey guys, it's Extra Enforce 101 and welcome to another episode of Extra Enforce 101 Tech. This week is all about OpenIBoot. And OpenIBoot is um, a bootloader for iOS devices that allows you to boot into any operating system. Now, we're going to show you how to use that and how to get Android running on it. So let's get started. Okay, so since this week is all about OpenIBoot, we're going to show you how to install and configure it on an iPhone 3G, an iPhone 2G, or an iPod 1G. So, first of all, you need to grab one of the devices I asked beforehand. You need to go into settings, general, and about. And you're going to need to make sure that you're running iOS 3.1.2. Now, 3.1.2 can be downloaded directly from Felix Bruns, which is a website, um, link on your screen, and it will have all the um, firmwares for any Apple device. So, you want to download 3.1.2 for iPhone 3G, 2G, or Apple Touch 1G, and just install it just restore to it as you would with anything else. So next you're going to, need to go in jailbreak. Now jailbreaking um, we're going to use this with Red Snow. Now you want to use Red Snow because Red Snow is probably the best most stable jailbreaking tool around. So um, Red Snow 0.9.4 link on your screen and I will go, and I will post a tutorial in the description of the video on how to jailbreak if you're not already jailbroken. Okay, oops, sorry airplane mode. You need to go into Wi Fi, and on, and you search for a network. Okay, so once you're connected to the internet, I'm going to go into Studio, presuming you have that installed. Now, sorry guys, bear with me, as Studio on all the devices it runs pretty slow. So, what you want to do is once it's open, you want to navigate over to the search tab. Just tap that. Um, I've already got a search in, so it's loading. <laughs> bear with it. Yeah, yeah, Cydia runs pretty slow on the iPhone 3, 3GS even. Um, so you want to search for bootlace. Now that's, as you'd normally spell bootlace, B-O-O-T-L-A-C-E, for any of those illiterate people out there. Oh, bollocks. Just tap bootlace in the search, and that should load up. So this is bootlace, it's by Nick Dawson. All credit goes to him for everything, except... Um, I, I drew an open eye, but he just made the program. So, yep. Just hit install. <laughs> Bear with Cydia. And just tap confirm. It's only 400 KB, so it shouldn't take too long. I'm just going to exit back to the home screen now. So, you should end up on your home screen called Bootlace. Just a big boot. Just gonna tap it. it. Should load up. Now, the first time you load Bootlace, it will come up with this screen, and it always does this. But for some users, um, especially users iPhone 2G and iPhone 1G, it will come up with a screen saying "Downloading Kernel and Patching Kernel." Now, um, that's totally normal. All it's doing is preparing your device for using Bootlace. Now, um, mine seems to have already been patched beforehand, so it's fine. So this is Quick Boot. It allows you to boot into Android or console quickly. We don't have any of them installed, so that's a bad idea. And this is the tab for Open iBoot. And this is the tab for iDroid. So first of all, we want to get Open iBoot installed. So we're going to tap on the Open iBoot tab, make sure your internet connection is active, and hit install. So Bootless is about to install, install Open iBoot. This involves flashing import badge your device. It must be interrupted, or your device will require a restore. So um, if you have a really bad battery life, make sure to plug into mains power. Um, so, you ready? Hit continue. So, it'll download the firmware, patch the firmware, and then flash the firmware. Now, sorry, I'm just going to do a little bit of a time lapse while this works. Okay, open eye, but has been installed, and you'll be presented with this screen. Oops. Um, it'll tell you either to remove or configure it. Um, next option is configure, but we're not going to do that yet. We're going to go into iDroid. No, iDroid. This is the um, iPhone version of Android configured to run on iPhones and iPod touches. So, um, I currently have none installed. 
and mine doesn't say, and it doesn't know when I installed it, because I haven't installed it yet. So the latest version is 11.04, now um, it's kind of like the Ubuntu release dates, so if you know what Ubuntu is, you'll get what I'm getting at. 11.04, last one was 11, sorry, 10.10, .10. you know, and you'll know what I'm talking about, Linux Ubuntu users. So, just hit install, and okay. So that's connect to the mains, so Ewan, give us a time lapse. Okay, it seems that our Android has been installed. So, um, you can just disconnect it from the charger now. And we're going to have a wee look at iDroid. So, if you do want to check out um, Open iBoot, then you can just use Quick Boot. But I just want to show you the full features. So, you're going to hold down the power button. I'm going to slide the power off. Now, keep in mind, it may take a little bit longer to turn off this time because we've just written about a gig of files here. I um, think, oh, no, nope. <laughs> much faster this time than last time. So, all you need to do, turn it on, and you'll get open iBoot. Here we go. So, you can use iOS, you can use the console, which is built in, and then you can use Android. So, if you're ready, navigate using the using the power buttons to our Android, and just say OK. Oh, wait, well, the home button. Oh, and also, if you're on the iPod Touch 1G, touching the screen will select it. Okay, let's get started. So, you'll get a really long verbose bit. And if you read it, it's just loading all the file systems, getting everything ready for use. And um, for some reason, it's attempted to load the Android boot logo there. You can see Android and block capitals. Attempted to load that and failed quite badly. Um, keep in mind, it may work for you, the nice Android turning on boot logo, but for some people, it will just um, continue doing this. Um, in the end, I got a nice boot logo, but I had to stick with this for a while. So, really sorry about this. Um, it shouldn't take too long any other time you boot it up, apart from the first time, which is just this, and it takes, as you can see, quite a while. Alright. So, Ewan, stick on a time lapse, please. Here's the boot loop. Alright, you can keep the time mask. Oh, here we go. Okay, so guys, welcome to iDroid. Now, um, here we are at the moment. Uh, it seems to be kind of lagging. Here we go, loading up the first Google search icon. So iDroid is pretty feature-packed for um, something as new as this. So you've got your launcher, which is like the default Android launcher. It's got everything. Um, Android is pre-rooted, super user. Um, yep, you can add apps to the home screen by holding them down like you would on a proper Android. And like drag it to where it wants it. And open them like that. Sorry. I can hear my iPhone ticking. This thing is like three years old, listen. That's coming from inside this iPhone. Flash memory's getting old. Alright, so currently there isn't a way to just go home. You have to hit the power button. And that just takes you back. Um, you can call. The phone actually works. I don't have a SIM card in, so it's not going to work for me, unfortunately. If it will ever actually load up. Here we go. Like that. It won't work for me because I don't have a SIM card. Alright, um, the home button brings up the menu, so it's like tapping menu on an Android, so it brings up this bit. And the notifications pane works. <sighs> Ridiculously slow, but there we go. Yep, so that's basic. oops, that's basically it. Got your Android tips, got your built-in Google search. <laughs> Never mind, and maybe you don't have your built-in Google search. So, yep, just to lock it, home button, power button, takes into lock state, unlocking it, doesn't usually do that. <laughs> oh well, it is very beta at the moment, so there we go, just got unlocked itself for me. 
so that's basically it. It <laughs> very yeah. This thing is a pretty very early beta. I will give it that much. So so we're just gonna boot back into iOS. There we go. Off we go. So guys, that's Open iBoot. Um, I hope you enjoyed. It's pretty slow, so only for the weary. Oh, and just to clean it up, you can um get rid of it easily by just restoring in iTunes. It isn't actually a whole partition scheme and stuff. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. Um, and cheers to you and for editing this.